Hi folks, uh, Joblock Comics here. A uh, quick little upload for you. Um, this is a copy of Timeless. It's the one shot from Jed McKay uh, with Kang the Conqueror having some kind of jealousy issues with Doctor Doom. However, this is the third printing um, variant, and you'll notice that you have Miracle Man on the cover. Of course, Marvel. Um, I have the rights to Miracle Man after all the huge legal battles. You can watch countless videos on YouTube all about what happened with this character. Marvel reprinted the original run with Alan Moore. Then, um, hopefully, they were going to get Neil Gaiman to finish things off, but um, Neil Gaiman probably fell out with them or they can't be bothered now or something. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't know if we'll ever get to see the end of the original Miracle Man series. If you did read the reprint, um, then, you know, that was a good way to do it. However, when Miracle Man, or, well, he was Marvel Man, yeah, did first reappear back on the scene, um, when Alan Moore was writing it, he appeared in Warrior Magazine, first of all, yeah, and um, Todd McFarlane then bought the rights, and he fell out with Neil Gaiman, and oh, there was all, it was a mess, a complete mess. But anyway, Marvel have got it now. There's Viva Vendetta down the bottom. But um, there was one little story that was uh, not reprinted in the Marvel stuff, yeah? The Yesterday Gambit. And it disappeared in issue four of Marvel Man. But it never appeared in the reprint. So I thought you might want to have a quick look at that unpublished uh, reprint that is part of the story. Art by Steve Dillon. But never saw a reprint in the, the Marvel run from a few years back, yeah. Which I always thought was odd. There'll be a reason for it. I'm sure you guys will know more than I do about it. And it was so odd because when they were reprinting the Marvel stuff, they even reprinted an unpublished story by Grant Morrison. Yet this story here, maybe they just felt it didn't work. I'm not even going to begin to try and tell you where this fits in with the continuity of the real story, but... It was written by Alan Moore and it was part of the ongoing series, yeah? It's just the oddest thing because it was uh, it was foreshadowing the the end of Alan Moore's run on the title, yeah. Yeah, never mentioned in the reprints. I'm pretty sure that's it. So there you go, an unreprinted episode from the American Man story. Spiral Path was one of the other strips in this anthology series from Warrior, of course Viva Vendetta, yeah, which would eventually be reprinted and finished 
by DC Comics. Look at David Lloyd's artwork in this black and white on... It's black and white and it's on newsprint, yeah. When DC reprinted this, that they, um... They colourised it. And it wasn't on newsprint. I always just think Lloyd's artwork on newsprint and in black and white is just unbeatable. Uh, Madman is another strip. And Shandor Demon Stalker. <laughs> you look at these and you realise how influential um, Warrior magazine was. More David Lloyd. Letters page. And the final strip I think is laser eraser and press button. And there you have it. So that was the summer special, which is really the fourth issue of Warrior Magazines with an unprinted Miracle Man story. So there you go. You completists, if you like that kind of stuff, you'll have to hunt this down. And thanks for watching, everybody. Fancy ordering a box of comics? Go to www.joblockcomics.co.uk and uh, feel free to subscribe so that uh, I can keep you up to date when we put new videos up. Thanks again, everybody.